Welcome back to the T.L. Show Show, where we're joined now by the winner of the Head & Shoulders Main Event Challenge. T.O., please introduce our very special guest. I'll be happy to, Kev. He speaks softly, but he hits hard. And believe me, he tried to deplete me last night. Our guest, Troy Palomalu. Troy, everybody's always asking you about your hair. It's insured with Lloyds of London for a million bucks, which leads me to this logical question. How about you letting me give you a buzz cut and we'll walk away with the 500 grand a piece? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think Head & Shoulders would be too happy about that. But I'm proud to say that J-Lo's butt and my hair are like right next to each other for highest insured butt and higher insured hair. Troy, I want to say congratulations on the, on the newborn. You know, you've got a two-month-old at home. How long is the baby's hair already? Actually, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed because both of my son's hair are, are not as long as I, I'd hoped they'd be. But I got him on the, the Head & Shoulders program, and uh, we'll see how it gets uh, some volume. <laughs> yeah, I'm on that program, too. Hey, Troy, your teammate James Harrison has been fined three times this season, a hundred grand out of his pocket for the violent hitch. You made headlines last week telling Commissioner Roger Goodell that players and teams should be involved in deciding punishment. The commissioner said he's not going to let this happen. How do you feel about that? Well, obviously, why, you know, why would somebody who has a, all the power want to relinquish any of it? Um, I think 99.9% .9 of the players would agree that we need to come up with a better system on how we find players. I think current players should be involved. Um, coaches should be involved as well as front office people including the commissioner. I think a more democratic approach to, to these fines would be better. I would totally agree. I think uh, this is definitely where I think players should definitely use our voices um, in situations like this and this is only just one of many topics um, that needs to be addressed and obviously we have a potential lockout coming up. Troy, speaking about the lockout, last night Commissioner Goodell reminded everybody that the collective bargaining agreement expires March 5th. Where do you think we are, you know, as, as players and as a union? How far off are we? And do you really think that the lockout is going to happen? I think the public should understand, one, is that it's not a strike, that the owners are locking us out. Two, is that, you know, we'll be fine if we're locked out. Um, you know, we make plenty of money. However, as far as the occupancy of workers, you know, there may be 3,000, I don't know how many football players there are, but there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people that work at these stadiums, that work in the front office, that, that are coaches, um, that are going to be out of jobs as well. And this may be their second, their third job, you know, that help them pay their mortgage, and those are the real people that are going to be hurting. One more question. If your life depended on it right now, could you correctly spell Roethlisberger? Roethlisberger. R-O-E-T-H-L-I-S-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E That's How correct, that? Troy. Okay. What a yeah. great teammate. Thank you for being with us on the show. <laughs> Honestly, it's a tremendous honor. To, I told you last night, T.O., man, you too, Chad, that to play against two of the greatest receivers that, that are in the game today and even in the history of this game. Um, I admire you guys. Honestly, I do look up to you guys, and it's an, and um, by all means, I, I hope the fans wouldn't uh, wouldn't uh, look bad at this. But I do look up to you guys. But it, that wouldn't take away from any of my effort and how I play you guys, obviously. But it's 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 a real honor to play against great football players and talented as you guys are. Oh man, I appreciate thank you, man. I, I appreciate you. that, Troy. I salute you. And we'll see you in a couple weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll see you in a couple weeks. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, man. And, and it's, right. it's kind of hard to say, but congratulations on the win last night and your main event award. <laughs> Thank you. Take care, guys.